Hello again my friends, Bungie's Reef teaser trailer gives us a tasty sneak peek at Destiny's new social space and although the teaser clocks in at only 30 seconds, there's enough here to make Destiny fans drool. We get our best look yet at the Vestian Outpost, a brief glimpse at some of the vendors that populate this area and confirmation that old Vault of Glass gear can be upgraded to bring them in line with House of Wolves new light level cap. So then, let's break this mother down. First up, three ships flying towards the reef. Now, if you look a little closer, you'll spot some symbolism at work here. Each colour represents a different fallen house. Yellow for House of Kings, blue for House of Wolves, and red for House of Devils. Credit for this awesome spot goes to Martin from Destiny Overwatch. You can find a link to his original tweet in the description box below. Now, this teaser, although only 30 seconds long, gives us our best look yet at this new social space. And just how purple it is. I mean, look at it. Guardian silhouetted against the reef's distinct purple skybox. It's all rather beautiful, and it certainly makes a change from the tower's balcony view of the Traveller. I love how Bungie gives each planet and destination its own unique colour palette. There's simply no mistaking the reef for anywhere else in the game. Next up, we're going to look at the various vendors that populate this social space, starting with these two Awoken ladies. Now, the Awoken on the far left appears to be Petrovenge. Newcomers to Destiny may not know who she is, so let me explain. Now, Petrovenge is the Queen's emissary, basically one of the Queen's trusted agents, and she's actually already appeared in the tower as a vendor selling shaders, emblems, class armor and weapons to guardians who leveled up their queen's rank by completing queen's wrath bounty so you can expect her to have a similar role in the reef the question is who's that standing next to her so far we only really know two things about this mysterious new character she has an eye patch and she likes to twirl daggers now my guess is that she's the reef's eris morn equivalent she'll give you quests that gradually expose the house of wolves new story expect her to have some awesome dialogue every time you stop by Next up we have what appears to be Destiny's first ever fallen vendor. Now in a previous video I talked about the possibility of a new faction bearing this logo and it looks as though we found exactly who it belongs to. If we zoom in on this fallen vendor's armour we can see the same faction design. Now how exactly we'll interact with this vendor remains to be seen but my guess is he may have something to do with House of Wolves new three player cooperative activity Prison of Elders. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Next up, we have this mysterious looking bastard, decked out in Trolls of Osiris gear. Who is he, and what the hell is he doing in the reef? Trolls of Osiris is, after all, set on Mercury. Well, the answer is, we simply don't know. Perhaps the reef has a Trolls of Osiris vendor, someone we can visit to check on our progress and purchase the sweet Trolls of Osiris gear teased in a previous Bungie update. All I know is this. Candles. There are lots of candles. <laughs> candles? Now this next character is far easier to explain. It's good old Xander the Bounty Tracker. Well, it's actually probably a different robot. Whoever it is, he's the droid you're looking for if you want to collect bounties. And yes, that was a Star Wars reference, lol. And here's another droid. His role is as yet unknown, but hey, that's what a teaser trailer does. It teases. My guess is that he could be the vendor you need to visit in order to upgrade your old Vault of Glass gear to bring them in line with the House of Wolves' new 34 light level cap. That's right, Bungie has confirmed that this is indeed possible. And here's the proof. A titan decked out in Vault of Glass gear with a light level of 34. Tis a thing of beauty and no mistake. And remember, in a previous update, Bungie showed Fatebringer, a Vault of Glass hand cannon, being upgraded from 300 to 365. How exactly we'll be able to do this will be revealed live on Bungie's Twitch channel on April 22nd, 11am Pacific Time, 7pm UK Time. In fact, many of the Reef's mysteries will be revealed during Bungie's guided tour, so be sure to tune in. You'll find a link to their Twitch channel in the description box below. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for daily Destiny content, and thanks for watching, you beautiful bastards. And as always, until next time, Guardians.